Hey guys, so uh, if you can remember, uh, LEGO Digital Designer was a, uh, I mean you can still go download it, it was a 3D uh, modeling program that you could build LEGO models and stuff. And you used to be able to uh, build something and order your parts, but they stopped that service about four or five years ago. I mean, I do have one of my old models of P51 Mustang that I built in 2009, I think, and was able to order it through there. I was, I was really disappointed when um, when they stopped that service because it, it was a really great service. It was a little bit overpriced, but just uh, just recently, Bricklink, uh, you might know their website. You can, it's like the eBay of Lego. You can go and buy just tons of used parts and stuff. Um, so recently, they just came out with kind of their own version of Lego Digital Designer, which I actually find better. You can even buy your own parts for cheaper than what Lego was charging with Lego Digital Designer. So. Let's uh, roll right in and check it out. It's it's actually really cool, so I think you guys will enjoy it. So let's roll right into it. So the program is called Stud.io or Studio. It's a really clever name. Shout out who came up with that. So we'll open it up, and right away here you can see that it looks a bit more complex already than LEGO Digital Designer. You have a lot more menus around and it gives us four main options. We can start a new build and it's just like LEGO Digital Designer. We can go through down here, find all the parts we need or we can import our old LDD files, an LDRAW file, or just open any existing file. So what we'll do is we'll just open an existing file and right here it gives us the, uh, the option we can go through, scan our hard drives for uh, LXF files or any files really. It's, uh, so that's the IO. We're gonna do a start a new build and we'll just open a file and now we can go and we can we have five different types of files an IO file which is the one for this program LDIR file, MPD file, LXF file or LXF ML files so LXF files are what LEGO Digital Designer files are so right here I'm seeing all my old uh, LEGO Digital Designer models so let's open up a Panzer IV OSF so we can open this up and right away it, it looks and feels just like LEGO Digital Designer, just it feels better in my opinion already. Uh, it's just a little more aesthetically pleasing. The controls are a little bit different. You can uh, A and D can control which way bricks are facing or you can still use the arrow keys like on LEGO Digital Designer. We have a hinge tool, a snap tool, you can still hit control C and copy the pieces or you can select multiple pieces. You can click one, hold down control and select as many as you want and it's it's really just just the same as LEGO Digital Designer. You can do just about anything the same way you can go here, you can change the colors and everything. You have an entire library of parts down here which I still need to get used to. So that being said, the main thing that this has over LEGO Digital Designer right now is it has a built-in render tool right here and it also has a way to upload everything to Bricklink. So what we're gonna do, we'll just do a quick little render right here, and it's it uses Blue Render, a tool that I've been using for a little bit to get a little bit more photorealistic renders. So we'll render that, it opens it up, you just hit OK. And right away, it starts rendering out the model in a bit more realistic, uh, photorealistic way. You can see it takes a second to load everything because it's trying to render each block as, as good as it can. You can change the render qualities to make it go slower or faster, render in different resolutions. And right away, there goes our, there's our render. It took just a second. We can uh, zoom in. It looks really high quality, really nice and high quality. You can always change it as well. But that is a very realistic looking render. So now the next big thing that is the main thing I want to show you guys is we can actually go through and upload upload the uh, parts list to Bricklink and then it'll automatically check and find us the be best stores and match match the uh, the pieces we're looking for. So we can build this for, I think I got it yesterday for about 35, 40 bucks. That's not including uh, shipping, but we're going to log in and we'll just log in with our username details to our Bricklink account. Okay, now that we're successfully logged into Bricklink, we'll just hit OK. Go back to this Bricklink tab and we will upload it to my base plate. And we will, I might have already uploaded it, so we'll just name it Panzer IV OS F2. 
We'll upload that. Now let's view my base plate. So it's uh, just opened up a new tab down here. We'll let it load for just a second. Okay, it looks like we might might ask us to log in again. We'll just hurry and log in. Okay. Not now. Okay, he, so here's our models that we have uploaded so far. So what we're going to do is we're, we have this right here, the one we uploaded, and we're going to add to the wanted list. So it says we have 79 different parts. And now we can actually, uh, it's going to look up part part lists and find as few stores as we can, or we can customize it. So we're just going to look for any. We can use used parts, it's fine with me. So let's uh, save that. Now let's go to the want list over here. And we'll just click on this. The model that we are looking for. Okay, so now it gives us up a, a parts list of all the parts we need. So we need three of those, one of those, eight of those. So what we're going to do is we're going to just hit buy all. And now it's going to do an auto finder. Well, we're going to click auto finder right here. So it gives us all the stores, 3,711 results. We're going to hit auto finder. And we're going to do it by best value. So let's uh, start. It'll take just a second, but it's going to go and look through all the stores and see which pieces they have available. And it's going to try to find the fewest, fewest store numbers for the best price. Okay, so it looks like we have seven stores total that it would take to get it. It looks like it might cost $58 for this one. I guess it was another one that I was looking up. So you can actually go and add all these to cart. So once you add them to cart, I think I already have it added to cart everywhere. You can just go through and you can, uh, you can go through and just purchase some from each individual store. So there was another version that I had that, uh, it was around forty dollars so we're gonna go look back at this again because this price does not include shipping and handling on each store or anything like that so it might cost an extra ten to twenty dollars to have all the pieces shipped to us depending on where they're located so that's why I'm gonna try and order um, some in bulk so maybe instead of ordering just one tank at a time we could order say four or five and that would cut down on all the shipping costs and stuff so at the end the end cost would probably cost about seventy dollars to build that tank but you can build them simpler i actually will go back into here and it just depends on what which pieces you use i do already have a lot of the tracks so i could cut cut down the cost of those because i think those are one thing that was going to cost quite a bit I have the uh, Panzer IV Simple, so we'll open that. And this one should be quite a bit cheaper. I just, I mean, I just hurried and built this one. To see how uh, cost efficient I could get that. So let's uh, upload this to my base plate. I'm curious to see how much this one will cost. So, um, so we're gonna go add the wanted list again. We'll do any condition, save. Let's go to the want list. So this one we only need 55 items, and I don't think I would need the tracks because I already have quite a few of the tracks that I need that I've already ordered. So we're gonna hit buy all and auto finder. Buy best value again. It's a very uh, convenient system. I'm I'm really glad they made this. Okay, so this one looks like it, it might only cost $23 for all the parts to get this, including the tracks, it looks like. So maybe instead of uh, getting all the $60 ones, I still want to get one of the uh, better versions. Maybe we could turn this into a Panzer II or something. Still use it along with the other ones, but this is just a simple one. So if you guys want instructions for this one or the file for this one, I'll uh, put a link in the description along with the link to this uh, stud.io or studio again. 
It seems to be a very convenient system, it's really cool. So I hope to uh, use it in the future and I think it would be a really convenient tool because I know a lot of my uh, subscribers, you guys really like the LEGO World War II genre. And this would just really help you guys build your mocks or anything you need to do. So thanks for watching again you guys and yeah, I'll put a link to this in the description. So uh, go build stuff. I mean the only bad thing is the things that aren't built, just remember that. So, thanks again for watching, hopefully uh, this could be of a lot of use to you, so peace out guys.